everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you an Ulta haul. I actually have everything in a shopping bag. Um, I got a couple of things from Ulta and then I got two, I think, other things outside of Ulta. So I just wanted to go ahead and share with you guys everything that I've gotten recently. The majority of this stuff is for my makeup kit. Two things are for myself, I know. I splurged like $4 on myself, which is kind of sad. But the rest of this stuff is for my makeup kit. So I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys all the new things that I got. So I'll start off with these two new foundations that I added to my kit. I love Too Faced Born this way, so I wanted to go ahead and start adding um, the colors to my kit. Right now I have NARS Sheer Glow, I have Becca um, Aqua Luminous, I have the Becca Complexion Cream, I say Laura Devil Wear colors, but I wanted to go ahead and start adding in Too Faced because I love Too Faced Born this way. So I did get two colors, I got it in the shade Light Beige and I got Warm Beige. So I got these two new colors for my kit. Um, I absolutely love them. I actually used them on my clients recently, and so really beautiful. Like I said, it's one of my personal favorites, so I definitely wanna start buying more colors for my kit as well. I got a new Hoola Bronzer. I love Hoola Bronzer. It is, I think, one of my favorite bronzers to go ahead and contour with, and of course, bronze up. Um, the one that I have in my kit right now is actually in a Benefit Cosmetics palette with a couple black blushes in it and it has the Hoola light in it, but I hit pan on the Hoola so I wanted to go ahead and buy a backup for when um, I run out of that powder. So I have a backup with me, I'll put it in my kit as well. And so like I said, it's one of my favorite bronzers. I feel like it blends out beautifully and it's a really, really amazing, amazing product. I did get two brow products and these are actually ones that I am just trying out as well. I ran out of two of my Anastasia brow whizzes and so I saw a lot of great reviews and comments on the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. So I wanted to get two of these. I got it in the shade Blonde and Brunette. So I actually want to try these out. I think these are $10 or $9.99 compared to the Anastasia Brow Wizzes that are $20. And like I said, everyone loves these. I think it had four and a half or five stars on Ulta. Everyone says they are literally just like the Brow Wiz. So I actually just used blonde on a client and I really did love it. So I want to go ahead and buy the rest of the colors because they do come in a good assortment of colors. So I want to go ahead and get more for my kit, especially when I run out of my Brow Wizzes. So I did get those two. I got some nice samples, but I'll throw that over there because I have my couch I have in my beauty room right now. It's just all makeup and samples and I need to clean this room so bad. I moved the camera over this way so you can see my makeup mess on this side. This side, you don't want to see. So I did get two new lipsticks, or lip colors I should say. Um, one lipstick that I got, this one is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their liquid lipstick in Stripped. I actually am wearing this color today. It's my own, so I didn't use this one for my kit. Um, but I love Stripped. I think it's a really great nude. And it has just like a nice warm, you know, kind of brownie, pinky, you know, just really nice, beautiful color. I think it's a great nude, so I wanted to go ahead and add this to my kit as well um, because I wear this color all the time, and like I said, I think it's so beautiful. It's a really great go-to color. So I did add that to my kit. I also got this new lip gloss, lip gloss, <laughs> lip gloss by Joseph Colors in the shade On Repeat. They recently came out with brand new lip glosses, and I wanted to go ahead and try one for myself. And I've used these on, I've used this color, I should say, on a couple of my clients, and it looks so so beautiful. I want to go ahead and get the other nude ones that they have. Um, this one, like I said, is called On Repeat. It's a really nice kind of warm, pinky color. It's a beautiful, beautiful nude, and I absolutely love it. Like I said, I always really kind of think of when I buy things, especially um, making sure that it will accommodate brides because the majority of my clients of course are brides and so these kind of colors are perfect for bridal because you don't want to have a bride you know of course whatever they want but I think a lot of brides really want to have a color because if you have just kind of muted it just kind of just doesn't give you that bridally look you know what I mean like I always love to go with kind of pinks and things like that so I love this lip gloss because I think that it just is the perfect color for brides and for clients and everything like that. So I went ahead and bought that. Um, I actually got this really cute bag from Ulta. When you spent like a certain amount you got this bag and it has a huge amount of samples in it. So I'm gonna have to go through all of these samples and um, see which ones I definitely want to try out. So yeah this was really really cute. My mom saw this bag right away and she's like what is that? 
where did you get that? How much was that? And I'm like, well, you can have it if you want. I just want the samples in it. So I did get that, so I'll keep that there since that's for myself. I did get these two face masks. This is the only thing that I got for myself. So that is applause for me. These were $2.99 each. It was actually buy one, get one half off. So like, not even kidding, I spent $4 on myself out of this whole order, but that's okay. All that matters is that my clients get the best. That's all I care about. So I did get these new Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Hydrogel Masks. I really wanted to try these because I've seen a bunch of people on Instagram use them and love them. So I wanted to go ahead and get these because my skin is so dry, especially because it's winter time and I just feel like my cheek area is just really, really dry and I try and moisturize and keep my skin as hydrated as possible in the winter. So I definitely want to try these two out and I'll let you guys know how I like those. Um, I also got these two products. So these two are ones, I actually bought two of these. Um, this is the L'Oreal Blend Artist Infallible Foundation Blender. Now, when it comes to being a freelancer, I love using beauty blenders more than I do brushes when it comes to face, but I, and I love my clients. Like I said, I, I will give them the best of the best as you see from all these products, but I will be damned if I spend $20 on one little tiny sponge, which comes out to be like $500 on sponges. I'm sorry, I'm not doing it. So I have, I have in my kit all of my Morphe beauty blenders. And so I saw really great reviews about the L'Oreal one. So I actually bought two of them and I did use the other one and I love it. It is really, really soft. It's not as soft as the um, original Beauty Blender that's $20, but I feel like these ones are actually softer. Oh geez, I dropped it. I feel like these ones are actually softer than the Morphe sponges. So I have really been loving this. I used this on two of my clients over the weekend. Like I said, I opened the blender and I used it and I really love it. I really, really love it. So I definitely want to go ahead and purchase more of these because I'm always in need of blenders. And I think when I bought these, Ulta, it was buy one and get one half off. So I am always going to be on the lookout for when they have sales on these because like I said, I'm always going through blenders because you of course want to stay um, sanitary and you don't want to use a blender for too, too long. So I'm always spending money on blenders. So if this one, if I love it, I'm just going to keep buying these. So these ones are really, really nice. Um, let me know in the comments down below any affordable blenders that you guys love. Um, I've always heard back and forth about the Real Technique ones. Um, I'd really love to try those. So let me know if you guys have tried that blender. Um, like I said, I would really love to hear what your opinion is on that because I'm always in the market for good blenders. Last but not least from Ulta, I bought the Over Cosmetics feeling myself highlighter palette. I am always, of course, looking for new highlighters because I feel like the one thing that everyone loves is they either want nice brows or they want a highlight. That's always the two things that I get heard the most of. It's either eyebrows, eyelashes, or highlight. So I am always making sure that I have highlighters in my kit. Right now I have like all Becca, I have Laura Geller ones and things like that. So this one I thought would be perfect for my kit. So it has three highlighters in it. They have Blissful, Pillow Talk, and Rodeo Drive. I'm actually coincidentally wearing Rodeo Drive on my cheeks today. I love Rodeo Drive. It is by far one of my favorite highlighters out on the market. I believe Pillow Talk they actually just came out with, so it is brand new. Let me take this off so maybe you can actually see the highlight colors and not the reflection from the plastic. And this one is beautiful as well. I haven't tried, like I said, any of these except for Rodeo Drive. So I'm really interested not only to try them on myself, but I can't wait to try them on my clients because everyone wants a good highlight. When they say they don't want a highlight, they're lying. They want a good highlight. Okay. Like I said, I think this is like the perfect palette for people People that have a kit because like I said it has three colors in it and it's perfect I think this is like 29 bucks perfect okay guys so those are the things that I actually bought from Ulta and then I have two more things that I bought that were not from Ulta but I want to go ahead and include them in this video so you guys knew of some new things that I got so I love lashes I love um, getting lashes for my clients. Again, lashes is another thing that can be extremely, extremely expensive, whether you're getting drugstore lashes or the really high, high, like name expensive ones that are crazy expensive. These ones are by far one of my favorites and I use them on a lot of my clients. These ones are, are by Elegant Lashes in the style RWS. I'm going to take one out so you can see what it actually looks like. So this is what they look like. They're really, really beautiful. They're wispy. They aren't 
um, too, too long, but they do have a bit of length on them, which is really, really gorgeous. And I love these lashes for brides. I think that they look gorgeous on so many brides. And so this one is actually perfect. This company, they came out recently. I think it was like a couple months back or maybe like a year back. They came out with pro dozen pack. So I actually bought the 12 pack. Um, I use these more so on brides on their wedding day. Like I'll use kind of an Ardell lash when we do trials, things like that, because these ones are a little bit more pricier. I think this 12 pack was um, $36, $38. Um, so these are more pricey than like when I buy Ardell lashes. So I use these more so on wedding days for clients because like I said, I want the lash to look gorgeous in photos and I love, love, love these. So these have been one of my new favorite lashes. So I did, like I said, buy the Pro Pack. They come in many many bigger sizes i think they come in a 50 pack of lashes which i think is going to be the next thing that i buy and then they come in 100 and 150 i think it, it just goes up and up and it, i think it's perfect like i said because they cut down on the prices because when you buy individual lashes they co of course come in packages and cardboard and everything like that so the price is a little bit more because of what the packaging is but in this like i said it just pretty much has the lash insert in it so they aren't individually packed so that's what they save you money on um so yeah i love these lashes and they do have so many more different styles as well so definitely check out elegant lashes love 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 their lashes very much and then the last thing that i bought is actually something that i talked about um i think when i did my um mua video where i shared with you guys how i set up my table whenever i have clients and appointments and i talked about how the thing that I use to bring my palettes along, I love it, but it's something extra and I am so tired of carrying it with me because it's another added thing. So I did buy this. Oh my God, I'm so happy. So this is by Zuka, I believe. Is that how you say it? Zuka, Z-U-C-A. And this is a backpack. So instead of, you know, my other thing that I have, I always put it on top of my roll along. But the thing is, is it's shorter. So I hold the handle along with my roll along and it's just, it's just getting annoying. It's just another added thing. So I was trying to think of something that I could buy that is something I won't hold, something that isn't going to just be more frustrating to carry with me. So I got this. It's a book bag. So what I'm going to do is put it on my back, carry it in with me, and it has one, two, three, four compartments. This side is actually good. This is perfect as well for um, hairstylists because in here what they have, if I can open it, can I open it more? I'm just being like a little, there we go. Okay, so what it has in here is it has a place where you can actually put like hot curling irons and things like that which is like perfect you can put things in here and so it also has like I said three other compartments so if I can zip this up I'm like falling this all over the place there we go so like I said it does have compartments over here and the thing that I love and I think I think what I will do is instead of bringing like my purse along I'll just put all my stuff in here like my keys my license extra money things like that so then I won't have another purse with me you know what I mean I was just thinking outside the box and just trying to make it easier on myself because along with my roll along I do have my chair and my light that I bring with me and I was just trying to think of a way to make everything easier so yeah so it has all these and like I said I'll put my car keys and my phone or something and my wallet and things that I really do need and then the best part the best part is that it has this big compartment in here and what it has in here is it comes with individual let me go like this to show you it comes with individual cases and then it has apartments over here so what you have is a regular kind of individual size case. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to put all my lipsticks in one. I'll put all my bronzers in one. The big ones I'll put my makeup palettes in. So it will just be easier for me to carry everything with me. And I believe there's even more room if you want to go ahead and buy. They do have like individual ones on Amazon that you can buy. And so, you know, they just have a bunch of things in here and you can just put everything in here. Like I said, instead of carrying another thing with you. And I think what I'm going to do is go through my roll along, like I said, and take all my lipsticks out of it, take all my lip glosses out of it, and just put them all in these things. So like I said, I can add more foundations in there and just add more products into my roll along instead of just 
having everything packed into one because I literally have no more space in that thing. So I thought this was a really amazing purchase. This one, um, I think they come with the eight. I think this has eight pouches in it and then they have one, I think that has six. This one was um, pretty $200. It was not $199.99 or something. And then the other one was $149 that had six pouches in it. But I just thought I'd get the bigger one because I'm always going to be buying makeup and I'm always going to be adding new things to my collection. So I thought this would be the best bet for me. And it actually has, I feel like this is like, this is good material. Like, I feel like it's not going to like get maybe too dirty too fast. I'm hoping. Um, so yeah, I'm really freaking happy about this. Is when I do fill it, I'll do another video sharing with you guys how I filled that backpack and everything. So you guys um, can see what that will look like. So that'll be another video. Let me know in the comments down below if that's something you'd like to see. Um, but yeah, I think that is it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I always love sharing with you guys new products that I get, especially when it comes to products for my kit, because I always get questions about what products I have in my kit and everything like that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Like the video if you did, and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, as always, let me know in the comments down below some videos you guys would like to see. And I think next I want to do either make a tutorial myself, or I'm really interested, I've been dying, and I've been bugging Ashley, my friend, to do another um, video with her. So I think that will probably come up next or pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.